I've been so lucky at St. Clair College to have 37 and a half years by the time I retire here. And to me, success is when I see a graduate on the street and they tell me that they have a job and they tell me that they still love the college and they ask me about faculty that they had and those staff are still here, most of them. That to me is success. Then I know that whatever we're doing, we're keeping the focus on the students and that's what's important to me. I started at St. Clair College in April of 1987. Everything was manual back in the day and I had to walk in and out of this big safe to get everybody's transcript and microfiche and all of those um, and everything was on cards at that time. But that was really um, a great um, orientation for me to really understand I think registration, understand academics a little bit, understand how everybody has a role to play. And then I went back to school. It took me 10 years to get my degree in adult education from Brock. And then after that, I took about a year or maybe two years off of school. And then I went back and got my master's from St. Francis Xavier. And I did a master's in adult education. I think adult education and lifelong learning is just critical for everybody and it helps with so many elements of your life and you know we have student leadership meetings and often I, I ask them about their experience and their journey and I am amazed how many times that they actually educate me. I remember going for my first interview for the presidency the day after I buried my mom and um, I almost didn't go. I almost decided that you know there's more important things in life than work. And I thought that perhaps I just really mentally um, wasn't ready. And my husband reminded me that that's not what my mom would have wanted and my mom raised a fighter and I had to go. So there was a resilience time there. Um, we lost all four parents in a very short period of time. but. Our family are pretty close. Um, I have two sisters and a brother, and um, I have one son and a daughter-in-law. And now I have a beautiful four-year-old grandson, Theo. So that is probably uh, one of my favorite jobs in my life, is being his mill. I was a single mom for a while, going back to school, working very long hours, and um, just wanting a better life for myself and, and him. And until I met my, um, my husband, Don, who was a wonderful um, father to my son and certainly a huge support. You can't do these jobs by yourself. Everybody has ups and downs in life. It's really remembering that the down will be coming up. And uh, when I need my friends and my mentors and my family to help pull me up, they've always been there for that. In addition to my mother and my grandmother, who were a wonderful role model for me, Carol Derbyshire is a dear friend but she started as a mentor and she really just showed me the power of caring and kindness. I have been so fortunate to have wonderful bosses and maybe those bosses never meant to be formal mentors to me, but they were. I think my leadership style, I, I think, changes depending on the scenario. Um, I, I'm probably more of a coach than, you know, uh, a dictator. But in a crisis, um, sometimes it's important that you're micromanaged. COVID certainly, I, I think, was difficult for us um, and difficult to keep everybody motivated and to keep teaching and learning central and the quality of education. Our faculty were truly amazing and doing whatever we could do for the community at the same time, um, making sure that the field hospital was there and supporting it. And we didn't think for a minute um, that we couldn't do anything we were asked to do. It was absolutely, what can we do to support Windsor-Essex? Originally when I started my presidency, we had a 10-year plan. Now we have the Quintin Residence, we have the Toldall Center for Applied Health Sciences, we have the Zuckelman Building for Business and Information Technology, not only here at the main campus, but we also have the Zuckelman Center downtown. We expanded from St. Clair Center for the Arts to One Riverside Drive to 333 Riverside Drive and the Sports Park and the Sports Plex. So there is only one thing left out of the 10-year plan to be done and that is the Welcome Center making sure that all of our student services from a, a service and welcoming perspective is in one building. It's very humbling to be receiving this Lifetime Achievement Award and it's a little surreal. I, again, I, I come to work every day. I just try and do the best that I can and really focus on the students, our staff and the community. I don't do anything 
in isolation. Any of the accolades or accomplishments have always been with other staff, um, the senior team, faculty, support staff, and our students working together, rowing in the same direction. When I put my head down on the pillow, I know that I'm at least doing my little part, and it's just a little tiny part, but there was so much more that needs to be done. It's not just a president's role, it's not just a CEO's role, it's not just government's role. We can all be part of the solution if we all work together just a little bit.